Giving feedback is something that most people really dread. I've never heard anyone say, oh yay, I get to give feedback. And it's unfortunate because it's so important. In this video, I'm gonna encourage you to kind of throw out your past ideas about feedback and introduce you to a whole different way of engaging with someone where you can give feedback so you can be really clear on where you're wanting to go with this and you engage the person so they have ownership in what's happening. I am Karen Valensic. I am the author and founder of Spiral Impact, the power to get it done with grace. And I've been working with leaders and teams for three decades. So I'm gonna give you three tips in this video that will transform your ideas around feedback and some resource materials at the end of this. Before we get started in the three keys, I wanna just have you pause for a second and think about the situation. Now, what I'm gonna ask you doesn't apply to every feedback, but you might wanna stop and just think about, have you been clear with expectations around whatever it is that you're doing? And so you can apply these concepts, whether you're a manager, a supervisor, a, an authority figure, or if you're a coworker they will work either way. But think about, do you have agreement around expectations and you, do you know that they actually understand that? You might even ask the question, how do I know that we understand this the same? So if you've done that, let's move on to these three keys. Key number one is intention. I define intention as what it is that you want that you do not have because of the circumstance that is not conditional on the other person. Let me give you an example. A woman in a group I was working with said to me that she was having difficulty with another department. And I asked her, what is it you want that you don't have? What is it your intention? And she said, I want them to know how I feel. Now, that is wonderful and that will come through this but that is not a great place to start with intention when you're trying to shift things so my next question to her was if this issue didn't exist what would you have and she lightened up and she said we would have great customer service and i said ding 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 there you've got a really clear intention great customer service. So it, when you move through the rest of this with that being your intention, it's much easier than if you get into, I want you to understand how I feel because that gets kind of murky. Perhaps your situation is different than that and you want to give somebody feedback on a presentation that they gave. When you think about intention, that really needs to be their intention. So, and if you know that their intention is to be really stellar at their presentation and they really want feedback and they want to get better at that, that becomes the intention. Okay, so number two, number two is you want to get into discovery and ask open-ended questions. My work is grounded in a martial art, Aikido. And part of what we teach is when we, we feel like we've got, we're butting heads up against each other, we move and we move in so we can see the world as that person's seeing it. So I want you to think about that visual. You're gonna start asking open-ended questions so you can understand where that person's experience is. So open-ended questions, what, how, when, where, I really like, tell me more about this. Those are all questions that can give you some great information. Let's go back to the woman around great customer service. So she could ask the questions and she could proceed it by saying the intention, you know, I'm really interested in our customer service. I'd love to know, and can you walk me through your process in your department when you're dealing with customers? Then it's never one question, it's always more questions. So then you might say, well, what happens when this happens? What do you do? And then when you send it over my way, are there any roadblocks that get in your way with us doing our part of this? So, so you're learning about that person's perspective. Now, one little caveat. I want to issue a word of warning around the question, why? 
if you go in and say, why are you doing it that way, that, that can create a defense. So if you can, avoid why questions in these circumstances. Okay, now if I go back to that other example about giving somebody feedback on their presentation, it would be really great to ask them, tell me what really felt good to you in your presentation and what could you have done differently? So you're gonna ask them their perspective in terms of their experience. What would they have liked to have included? What did they feel good about? And that way you're, you become partners with them. So rather than you being this person with a hammer giving somebody feedback, you're now engaged with, with people around a clear intention. Key number three is to ask permission. Ask permission before you start giving somebody perspective or feedback. When you get to this point, it's really obvious to me how intention fits in there. And remember, intention is that thing that you want that you do not have because of their circumstances that's not conditional on the person. What's really beautiful about that is sometimes we want to give somebody feedback or our opinion that might be coming from they need to know my opinion or it could be coming from some judgment that we have of the other person or the circumstance. And that's why thinking through intention is so, so important. And I find myself a lot of times I don't end up having a conversation because when I look at my intent, it's not pure. <laughs> so think through that intention and make sure you're not just sharing a judgmental opinion that you're actually thinking through, I wanna give some feedback. You've got your intention, and then you've also already have asked a lot of questions so you can understand where that person is coming from and how they see the world around the issue or circumstance you're talking about. So now it's just very simple. Would you like my perspective? Would you like some feedback on that? Really important to get that buy-in. Even if you're a supervisor or an authority figure, asking that permission really sets the stage so that you're not perceived as just dumping something on someone. So ask permission. This may seem like not giving feedback feedback, and that's fine that it is. And I've worked with a lot of people, and this is really about becoming the partner in performance and in life and having these three elements, intention, asking for discovery, and permission are, are elements that will keep you successful in partnering and growing people together. And I believe that is so important. And as a person giving feedback, it is so much easier than trying to get into some scripted, highly volatile kind of thing that feels very critical. Now I have coached a lot of leaders to use this and I call it spiral impact. One person in particular comes to mind and I was coaching him about giving feedback to an employee that was just really not working out. And that person, he cared a lot about her well-being and she really needed to go and she was in and out of FMLA and when she was gone, the department really worked well and when she was back, there was always angst in the department. So when she came back, he decided to use this technique. And I hate to call it a technique because it's really just being interested and having good conversation with somebody. His intention was that there was good fit for the department and, and good fit for her as well. And as he asked her questions around how did she see this job working for her long term? What support did she need to be able to continue doing what she's doing? She came to a natural conclusion herself that it was time to move on to something else. And that is wonderful because it's a win, win, win all the way around. Thinking through these is a very compassionate partnership way of improving performance through giving feedback that's more about engaging the person 
rather than you just dumping on them. Consider that, experiment with it. Hey, I'd love to hear your challenges in the, the comments. I'd love to continue having some conversation with you on this. There are a couple other components that work into making this successful. And I want to invite you, if you'd like a little ebook, I've got one on my website that's called Giving Deliberate Feedback for Leaders that goes in more detail on this. And I so appreciate you listening in to the end here. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.